What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Joaquin Alexander, and the visuals on the camera. To the right of me, I have Mr. Pastor Stanley Kofler. How you doing? Great, great. Can I call you Pastor Stanley Kofler? Yeah, you can call me Stanley Pastor Stanley, Kofler. Stanley's Kofler. Barbecue. <laughs> you know, I love, I love yeah. that barbecue. People, yeah. don't, uh, people don't like their barbecue for some strange reason. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, today, we're going to be speaking on the Empowerment uh, CDC, a little bit on uh, Pastor, Co uh, Pastor Kofler's background and just having a good old conversation. This is the gold standard number two, and I'm your host. Uh, last week, I had uh, Marcus Rhodes on the first one. Um, today's gold standard episode and podcast is brought to you by ARX. If you need your air ducts clean, holla at Marcus. So let's get right into this. So I met Mr. Kofer, Mr. Pastor Kofer, uh, through Dr. McKellar. Yes, sir. And that's an incredible lady. Yes, and, sir. And in her own right, I can't yes, keep sir. up with her. Um, <laughs> I, I can't. Who can? I, no, who can? <laughs> She's always going. And, yes, sir. Um, are you, wh where are you from? Are you from East Texas or? Well, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you for this opportunity. Oh, you're welcome, brother. You're welcome. Uh, really feel privileged to uh, um, thank be you. on your I, that, show. That, that means a lot. That, yes, sir. I, I appreciate yes, sir. it. We both kind of have a little under the weather. This yeah. crazy, uh, they have that coronavirus that just came from China. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And, and hep uh, there's one case now in Texas. Yes, I don't know. It's yes, craziness. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate it, brother. I, I reached out to you. I know you're a man of many hats like myself yeah. and you're kind of out there in the community as much as I am. Yeah. And I think, uh, strength comes in numbers. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. when they see a young Latin male and another gentleman, uh, coming together, as we were speaking beforehand, it reverberates with the audience, your audience, my audience. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. I think that, even though I, I have, you know, a crazy cool side of me, <laughs> I love, I love this. I, yeah. I live for this. I could do this every day. Yeah. You know, if, if I could be um, the opposite of Bill O'Reilly, <laughs> you know, and, and, and not have all those sexual allegations, but yes. empowering people through any means, whether it yeah. be podcasting or um, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, you know, yeah. what I mean? whatever the future holds. Yes. Um. But speaking of empowering, I'll start off with uh, Empowerment CDC. You you are you founded this, or what was um, what uh, what was your idea behind this? Well, first of all, um, <clears throat> first of all, you know uh, we were pastoring a church, my wife and I, a small uh, multicultural church, and um, and so we started sensing that God was saying it's time to maneuver a different method. Okay. And, um, and through that process of um, being in church all my life, um, I have, I've always had the heart to want to help people. Right. You know, sometimes, um, um, sometimes people, you know, they, they spiritual, but they don't do good works. Right, right, And right. so they kind of confuse the two. And so um, the Empowerment CDC came about after we uh, um, followed what we believed that the Spirit was leading us to do, right. us to, to leave the pulpit and the four walls right, right, of right. church setting. And we felt like God said we would be more effective than we ever been. Because there are some things that, you just can't do with a church government or church setting that sometimes people don't understand. And so Correct. the yeah, move that's... that we had to make <laughs> was very important. Okay. So that's where Empowerment CDC, the, the seed was planted. Yeah. And w so it's a, it's, uh, I'm not, don't know well, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's a 501c3. It's a nonprofit. Yes, yeah, sir. And how long have you been uh, going now? Uh, we are in uh, our fifth year. Okay. Wow. That was 2015. And uh, the name of our church was Empowerment Church. Okay. And so we just... Uh, kind of branched uh, off. Yeah, branched off and started Empowerment CDC, which uh, is Community Development Corporation and Empowerment Ministries because we wanted to still facilitate the spiritual uh, the spiritual needs of man right. as well as the physical need because 
Jesus just didn't preach, but he also took care of the physical needs. Like, yeah, exactly. Like right, right, Fina, right. Uh, the Fina homeless, and all of that. The sick. Yeah, sick. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, did you start here in Tyler or? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we started right here in, in the city of Tyler. And um, uh, it's been a wonderful journey. No, no uh, I see. I, I see the, uh, the, the action. The, the uh, pressure of running a church and a congregation. I'm I'm happy to be after after uh out from under that stress load. There is a stress load that comes with pastoring a congregation. Okay. Didn't that, know that. I, it, I mean it, I, I knew but I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, you have overhead, you have expenses, you have so many things that come with it. And so what I see that that happens in the church setting, I said church setting is is that the competition you know, there is too much competition because uh, somebody go build a million dollar facility to to get more youth. And then this church have to copy the same thing, because if they don't, they're going to lose. Uh, the parishioners. Yeah, they're going to lose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, excuse me, the congregation. And so, uh, it's, uh, so I feel like I've been delivered from the rat race, the church rat race. And I just <laughs> want to share this real quickly what the spirit, the last message I shared with my church was this right here, that what the spirit showed me. He said, I didn't call you to uh, have a good choir, to... Uh, have uh, a great praise team. I call you to make disciples. Mm. 